Hello and welcome. So in this video and the series of video which will follow, I will try to explain what I have learned using this particular MATLAB example. So we will explore all of the blocks which are needed to implement the FOC algorithm on a C2000 microcontroller. So I have already tried to document it in the text. So I will put the link for this below. So you can click on each block and see what I have tried to explain what each of the blocks does in detail. I will just give a brief overview of the FOC algorithm. I have downloaded this from MATLAB website and you can see the motor is driven by a three phase inverter. So this inverter get gate pulses from RC2000 microcontroller and there are three different loops current control loop speed control loop and position control loop the position control loop is not needed for us so the speed control and current control the innermost loop is the current control loop and the outer loop is speed control loop based on the currents and the estimated position and speed of the rotor we will try to give appropriate gate, gate pulses to maximize the torque produced by the motor that is the aim of the foc or field oriented control algorithm so we'll be controlling id and iq separately or if we want we can abstract away the the id and iq and use the speed reference and depending on the set speed the id and iq will be modified by the control system to produce the appropriate speed so let's open this matlab example you have to press on this simulink and i'm using the matlab 2023b so you'll be directed to here after you click on this simulink icon so you have to go to the examples and you have to go to the motor control block set and here there is a sensorless foc algorithm or you can search here sensorless first one is for pmsm we don't want that we want the induction motor you, you have to click on the open example so let's wait for this to open okay so you'll be greeted with this as we saw in the schematic we have two current control and speed control here we saw a current control loop and speed control loop so inside this the logic for all this is implemented logic of the foc is implemented so we will look at each of that but before that there are a lot of other blocks outside this we will go through what each block does in detail uh, before that i want to show you what is the typical workflow of this foc will look like so we have done this in matlab and we have to connect our c2000 so we have to connect our c2000 through this usb cable to the uh, to our laptop so laptop or pc after we connect you can click on this hardware so you can click on this hardware tab here and there is a button called build and deploy so what this will do is it will take all these blocks and the logic within it the signal will be coming to the block and the operation will be performed by any block and the output is given we are writing the logic in the GUI interface so after which we we press the build and deploy button all this graphical user uh, all this block diagram will be converted into C code so that will be done um, by the Texas Instruments software which we have to install C2000 where so this C code will be compiled to assembly or instructions um, specific to this processor so after after you deploy to the hardware we will connect the motors motors terminal to the appropriate sensors to the C2000 the ADC of this C2000 so the motor the c2000 will monitor the all the motor currents and and depending on the logic we wrote here and it will also the speed reference which will give from the computer so we will we will feed the speed reference through through the serial communication to this controller based on the current flowing to the ter terminals the foc algorithm will try to achieve that speed so this is the typical workflow so this this is a general simulink model so if you want to abstract away if you want to hide this for the user so you can click here or if you if you abstract away the small little details uh, it will be easier to build much bigger concepts on top of that so foc is a very complex algorithm 
so we are abstracting very basic details from it we are building our logic if you select these two i i want to create a subsystem so here if i press this you can see there is a gray block if you go into that matlab uh, assigned an input port 1 and output port y which is also 1 so the signal coming from the step goes to here goes to the port 1 it is multiplied by 1 and the filter, filter operation is carried out here and it is output to out, outputted to the 1. So here we have created a subsystem. So this is a general introduction on how to create the subsystem. The subsystem. So if you go into any of the subsystem, you can see the speed feedback signal is coming to the here and going, going out in the port 1. So that, that covers the subsystem. And if you if you click on this particular this block is called Dmax or demultiplexer. So this block outputs two signal as uh, to the one port. And so we are here we are combining two signals into one port. So if you want to extract that signal, you have to demux it. So from one signal we are getting two signal. So we are demuxing that signal. So this is a demux block. And here is a rate transition block or RT block. If you double click on it, you can see the rate transition block. So what this block does is, in our FOC algorithm, we have different priorities for different things. This current control system will be running at, uh, for example, 25 kilohertz. The sampling rate and the sampling rate of this current control subsystem will be running at 25 kilohertz. So the speed control uh, will be running 10 times as low. Uh, so for example, 2 kilohertz so there are different priorities so this current control system is very crucial to it it needs to work on the real time uh, real time uh, to produce appropriate gate pulses for this inverter so we, we have different priorities so we we have to create a rate transition block from which the the system running at 2.5 kilohertz has to properly communicate with system running at 25 kilohertz so this this block helps in helps to for the transition so this block helps for rate transition to communicate data and if you double click on it you can see the various parameters handles rate transfer between different rates and tasks so this will be running at very very fast sampling time uh, and the speed control system may not be running as as quickly and these are the global variables which we are using in the context of FOC. But these, this block, this particular block is a data store memory block. This is not specific to the FOC algorithm. This is a general simulink block available. So, so if you double click on this and data store and read, you can read the data, data store write. So there are two blocks, data store write. For example, from a constant or some source, you, are, you can write to this global variable. And if you want to read it, in programming, we declare global variables. In this MATLAB graphical envi environment, equivalent to that. So in the upcoming videos, we will see uh, what each of this block does in detail. I will dedicate every uh, one video for each block. So on the major, just to show you, Without explanation, I will quickly go into this current control and the control system. So this is where the Clark Park transform and the PWM generation, all this happens here. And the speed estimation happens here. So we are using flux estimation based on the voltages and current. So based on that flux, flux position, we are calculating the speed of the rotor. And here are the motor and inverter parameters. So if you can click on that, it will open up a MATLAB data file in which all the parameters for this blocks are written. So there are a lot of filters, sample time for speed control, sample time for current control, everything is written here. And filter coefficients. So if you open this side panel, in this particular path, so in my users, documents, MATLAB examples and my MATLAB version 2023b motor control block set, MCB stands for motor control block set. Inside this folder, there is an AC induction motor, FOC sensorless example. We can see there are a lot of files here. So the one we have look right now is the data file, which contains all the filter gains and sample times, etc. 
so this particular line mcb get control analysis so if you run this file we will get some body plot root locus plot so if you run this matlab file for this particular gains uh, it will run this body plot root locus plot and uh, step response pole zero map etc so from which we can infer if our system is stable or not so we will look at all of this in detail when we come to the appropriate sections i will just end with this so this uh, matlab example can run in either simulation mode or code generation mode so in the simulation mode we won't be connecting a hardware so it will entirely run it will entirely run on this simulink environment so if you want to run on the hardware you, if you, you want to press the code generation in the hardware tab if you if you press the code build and deploy button it will generate the code so that mode is called code generation mode and if we run normally like you you run any matlab simulink file so this is the simulation mode and the previous one we we talked about was the code generation mode we can also do a processor in loop testing that is the control algorithm will run on the processor and the simulation the motor and inverter will be simulated on this simulink environment so the data will be transferred from the c2000 to uh, to the host computer that is our laptop and the motor and inverter simulation will be run here so for example we have an induction motor block and the parameters of our motor will be set here so this is called processor in loop testing from the, the control system will be running on this hardware and the output uh, pwm signals will be sent to this uh, this computer using the sea protocol from the usb after that the output of the motor will be monitored so uh, for example iabc motor so this output will be then fed back to the the c2000 hardware so this is called processor in loop testing so pil testing or processor in loop testing there are different modes like code generation and simulation mode and also processor in loop testing mode so for example we don't need uh, while deploying it to the hardware we don't need this induction motor block right so that is why the matlab has organized into code generation mode and simulation mode so this particular block and code will be converted into c code so for the simulation we have this block which which we don't need for the code generation so the matlab will not compile this particular this uh, this subsystem so i just want to give a brief intro and when the time comes i will explain what each does in detail thank you